Welcome in today's video we got an amazing new piece of hardware. This is the RTX 4070 Super directly from Nvidia. This is the Founders Edition. Picked this up on drop and it finally got here. The weather in the northeast really wrecked my delivery and it took quite a while. But yeah, it's finally here and I just left it on in the box to show you guys how it actually comes boxed from NVIDIA. It is like this box probably weighs every bit of 25 pounds. So yeah, it's it's an impressive packaging and we're going to open it up. Then we're going to take a really good look at this GPU. Then we're going to test it out. We're going to go over some of the numbers and the specs and we're going to talk all about it. But yeah, let's go ahead and do that. You know what time it is? RGB knife. Engage. E. Oh, it's got a pull strip. Yeah, way to ruin my fun, NVIDIA. So there's just a pull strip on the side. We're going to pull this thing all the way around. Ruining my fun in video. All right, that starts right there as well. And there's our pool strip. All right, let's see what we get. Right off the side is my invoice. I'll get that out of the way so I don't dox myself. And there's how she comes packaged. You see the two arrows on the side. We just pull these arrows out, and then we take out our GPU. Take that guy out of there. I'll tell you what, Nvidia really classed it up with this packaging, but maybe they should have went lighter on the packaging and cut the prices back 20 bucks or something. Save us some money, Nvidia, keep your cute packaging and uh, sell us better, more affordable products. How about that? All right, so here it is. This is how it comes packaged from Nvidia. Yeah, I can see right through the middle of it. And that's how these supers come and how actually any of the founders edition come and on both sides you have a little tear tab here and here i guess i'll just tear this side off i was going to cut it but we'll tear it off it says tear right on it and then we'll spin it around let's get the other side on this side i'm actually going to cut it down the middle keep it all nice and intact all right it's time for the grand reveal Oh man, that's so pretty. Look at that thing, it's all blacked out. So uh, the regular 4070 Super and all the regular, um, the non-Super, the regular found Founders Edition were actually like a pewter or like a, a gunmetal silver and the accents all around it were the gunmetal or the pewter. Um, so yeah, this is all blacked out and I thought from all the videos and all the pictures that I really wouldn't like it, but, but man, it's, it's actually a really pretty card. Let's get some good light on it from over here. We're going to take it out and let's do a really nice close up look of this thing. And that way you can get an accurate portrayal of what it really does look like. Let's do that real quick. She's a beaut, I tell you. So yeah, there she is. She looks really, really good. I really thought that all blacked out look was gonna be kind of meh, but I already have a RTX 4070 Founders Edition and I'm gonna pair this in the same system. So I'm gonna stack them on top of each other and see how they look. Hopefully they don't clash too bad with the pewter and they all blacked out. But yeah, let's go ahead and talk about this card. So next, let's talk about some of the specs and we're gonna go over the features of this GPU and tell you why this thing is an amazing piece of hardware. So first and foremost, this is built off of the Ada Lovelace. It is an AD104 GPU die. It comes packed with 12 gigabytes of DDR6X memory. It has 7,168 CUDA cores. It has 224 
TMUs, 80 ROPs, and 56 RT cores for your ray tracing. And then it is featuring with a throughput of a 192-bit bus. So yeah, that's the makeup of this thing. That's what it's built. It comes packed with a base clock of 1980 megahertz with a boost clock of 2475 megahertz and as you can see it is a double slot card and it boasts a tdp of only 220 watts um, this guy came out on the 17th of january i ordered it on the drop day from nvidia direct off their website i missed the best buy drop which went way quicker and then i was able to jump onto the nvidia site and order this direct so that was a pretty good win. The scalpers have been flipping these. So I was glad that I could easily accomplish it and get one into my house. So let's talk about what makes this such a good GPU. First and foremost, there's a big improvement over the RTX 4070. It's not just better memory like they have sometimes in the past. This actually has way bigger core count. It is rocking, um, 7168 cores whereas the regular rtx 4070 only had 5888 5888 cores in it so that is 18 percent more cores packed into this guy and not to mention with that goes along with some of the other additional cores more rt cores more tmus more rops to go with it so yeah it overall boost across the board this is using only 20 watts more power than your standard 4070, so the TDP is only 20 watts more, but you're getting way more performance for that. So then, if you're getting way more performance at only a marginal boost on power, that means you're actually getting better overall efficiency. So that's another great win. Now, I'm not gonna go through and thoroughly test this and do all the numbers because those have been done by some really good YouTubers already, tech tubers. Um, specifically, I would highly recommend going and referencing Gamers Nexus. He, they do a 26 minute video where they completely break it down. They test the efficiency. They test all the games. They tested 1080, 1440p. They tested on 4K and then they compare it in their graph to other similar GPUs of the uh, AMD and of both Nvidia and AMD. And for the price to um, performance comparison, this thing is way up there. So first and foremost, where does it slot in? This is actually 15, on average, about 15% better for gaming overall than the non-super variant, the RTX 4070. So where does that put it against the RTX 4070 Ti? It's about seven to 10% slower than a 4070 Ti, which is way more expensive. So then you're gonna say, but altered, what about the 4070 Ti Super that is coming out that just dropped rather? So where does it slot against that? Well, it is roughly seven to 10% better the 4070 Ti Super than the 4070 Ti. So now you're talking seven to 10% from this guy up to the 4070 Ti, then add another seven to 10% to go up to the 4070 Ti Super. But man, you're paying way more. This thing has an MSRP now of $599.99. That's for the Founders Edition and some of your base models. I always highly recommend the Founders Edition when available. Um, sometimes the cooling is not as good, but on the 30 series and the 40 series, the cooling has actually been really good on these things. So highly recommend the Founders Edition. Now, where does this thing stack up to say a previous generation? Where does it stack up to the RTX 3070? Well, pretty much across the board, it's around 50% better than a 3070. So if you're one of those people that were holding out, you've got a 3070 and it's doing okay and it's getting you along because man, they are pretty affordable now. You can find them on eBay for 300 bucks, 350 bucks. Um, should you upgrade? Well, you might pay 50% more for a brand new GPU, but you're getting at least 50 percent more power not to mention you're getting 12 gigabytes of ram where you're only getting eight in your 3070 and this thing has more potential for future increase whereas the 3070 is just going to continue to fall behind on the modern day title so, so next let's just take this thing out and take a quick look at all the uh features on this guy 
So first and foremost, it's a pretty heavy GPU. Let's weigh this thing and see how much it weighs. All right, so the GPU out of the box weighs two pounds and five ounces, give or take. It's a pretty beefy GPU for such a compact GPU. It's not a giant footprint like some of these other ones are. So that means that the fin stack on this thing is very, very thick here and you can probably see through it but man that's it's a lot of fin stack and then they do the push pull method one's coming through one way one's coming through the other way so yeah let's give it the old panda spin that's a good gpu that's that's some good blades so cooling on these things there should be no problem with only a 220 watt tdp um, the accents on this thing are beautiful. The only regret I have is that I wish that this uh, GeForce logo right here had the white LED like the um, RTX 3080, which I currently have in a system. And it is the gunmetal, the pewter, but it has the LED light here. And I think that would look really good against this all darked out. So I'm kind of curious whether the, uh, the 4080 Super if it's going to have any LED in it or if it's just going to be all blacked out as well. So we'll get to see that really soon coming up. But yeah, so first and foremost, what do we have on the end? Our input output, our IO bracket, we have three display ports and one HDMI port. You've got your X16 slot here. You've got your modified 12-pin um, power connector on the top. Um, it probably comes with the little adapter, I assume. So we're going to open it up and look and that's basically all that's in here so now let's look in the box itself what's in the box no, in all the right box? so right underneath of here you've got a little pull tab let's pull that out and let's look and see there's our box with our little accessory i don't think it was in a uh, in the pointy shape the last gpu i bought i thought it was just flat but i could be incorrect there but there's our little insert and inside here has our adapter and it's a 12 pin to dual eight pin just like so and it is in the same place as before so you're going right there plugging it in and we've got two eight pin pcie power and then in here we have a little insert and i'm going to assume that it just shows you there's a support guide there's a warnings don't hook this thing directly up to an outlet and then it shows just a quick diagram of how to plug it into the board and how to power it and plug it into a monitor. And if you don't know how to do that, I don't know why you just bought a $600 graphics card. So yeah, there's that. And that's all that is included with this guy. So yeah, like I said, I'm not going to go through the entire uh, test suite with you guys and go through all the games and get all the benchmarks because some much more qualified people have already done that. Gamers, Gamers Nexus, Hardware Unboxed are a couple of my favorite. Paul's Hardware, I'm sure, has ran this. These are a few of my favorite tech tools. Uh, Jay's Two Cents, of course, they have ran through all these numbers. And uh, so the 4070 Super, an amazing GPU. The 4070, meh. So yeah, there you go. So my, in my opinion, you're either buying the 4070 Super or you're waiting for the 4080 if you've got deeper pockets, 4080 Super, because that thing's going to be a beast. And uh, can't wait to get this thing installed and just test it out on my own and actually get to play with it, because that, that's the fun part of it. So I think that about covers it for our review today. What do you think of this GPU? Should people be buying this? Should people be dropping $600 today in, in the current economy, in the current economic climate? Should we be wasting $600 on a GPU like this? Make sure to tell me your thoughts and opinions down in the comments. And I think that about wraps it up today. If you got any questions or comments, make sure to join the Misfit Mining Discord. There's always plenty of seasoned vets in there willing to help you out. And if you like the video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride.